Man, it has been a very long time since we've been in town, which means it's been a very long time since we've been in the shop. Actually, uh, with the video timeline, I don't think it's been a long time. But in my real life timeline, it's You're been a long time. Missing. Tim Bro has been putting in some work. So I figured before we get started with what we're doing today, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on both of the current big builds that we have going on in the shop right now. You guys saw us put the engine in. I believe that was even the last video was you guys watching us put the engine in. We expected to actually have the ECU by now because it's been what it's been like a week since then Oh, it's almost been two weeks since we put the engine in and we still don't have the ECU But we didn't know that Honda was backed up so that kind of sucks. So we're still waiting on the ECU for this, but I mean, pretty much everything else in this engine bay has been buttoned up. We still need the radiator and all that good stuff, but we can't wire in the fans or any of that stuff without the ECU. So just waiting on the ECU for that. But the K-Swap looks freaking amazing. We got all the awesome hybrid bits on there for this little throttle cable holder right here. All like the little stuff that you would never really notice looks incredible on the engine bay and even Downstar hardware as well. This car is going to be absolutely awesome, but like I said, we are just waiting on the ECU. Next up, we have the R32 GTR. Not too much has changed since the last update on this, aside from getting everything put back together in the engine bay. We are still waiting for our suspension, which should hopefully be in in about three days or so. It's coming from Canada, so it's gonna take a little while, but it is shipped back. We do have everything, and this car will be buttoned up for PPI on, which is gonna be freaking sick. But now, what you all clicked on this video for is right behind the camera here. The car that pushed the channel to where it is today, the car that really got eyes on what we're doing here today is the WRX. This is really the first car that took off on the channel that allows me to do what I do today. And she deserves way more than what she's at right now. You guys haven't seen this car in probably over a year, right? It's been over a year. And this car does not deserve this. And before we get into it, I wanna tell you guys, we are gonna be completely revamping and rebuilding the WRX. Like this thing is gonna get a complete makeover. Color, body parts, engine part, everything is gonna be completely redone with this car. She deserves the best. And like you guys know, this was this was my dream car. When I had the Civic, I wanted nothing else ever in the world but to own a WRX. And when I got this, it was like the best day of my entire life. And this is what I really started building up the channel with. So she deserves to be completely rebuilt to tip top shape. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we left her like this for so long because when we do the build, I want a big transformation for you guys. This is also, how me and Timbro met. This is exactly how we met. Yes, we met because I bought wheels that were way too wide for this car. <laughs> and I made them fit. Yes, Tim was like... <laughs> Tim was like the fender roller guy in Mississippi. So I contacted Tim, we just became friends, and look at us now, we're like six years later. We're, yeah, six years <laughs> later, and we're in this amazing shop. It's and crazy. It's, it's insane. So I'm gonna preface this right now. Yes, we're making the update video. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would like an update video on the WRX, and obviously you guys were super stoked about it, but I wanted to preface this because I said this on Instagram as well. This build is not going to be for a long time. We're talking about like three or so months out because as you guys know, we have the Civic, we have the R32, and we also have the 280Z, which is going to be getting the new engine very, very soon, but we can't do that until the EG's out of the way. So it's going to be quite a while until we get started with the WRX. Just wanted to preface that now. What I wanted to do for this video is give you guys an update on where she's been, the parts that we already have stocked up, because I told you guys we're going all in with the WRX. So I want to show you guys a few of the parts that we have stocked up and just maybe give you like a general overview of what we want to do to the WRX with the rebuild. Okay, please don't hate me guys, but we're going to do a quick walk around of the WRX. I mean, this thing has not been washed and touched in like i said close to a year now um we're just gonna do a, this thing needs a lot of love it needs a lot of love which is why we're completely revamping oh my god <laughs> i can't even show you this i hate that i've neglected her for so long but she's gonna be making a comeback this is a quick walk around here the main goal for the exteriors i want to fix the body. When I did this kit, if you guys remember, it was very, very early on and we did not do the best job when fitting the kit. The kit doesn't look great. It doesn't fit very well. We got like these 
janky moldings just falling off that was doing that even before we let the car sit for so long. So the goal is to just do something completely new. Ideally, I'd really like to change the color of the car, but that depends on if we can find a new body kit and all of that good stuff in this time frame of us building the car. So I want to tell you guys that is the definite goal is to give this thing a completely revamped look, whether it's a new body kit, fixing this body kit, new color, whatever the case is, this thing is going to look completely different by the time we get done with it. So now that you guys have a general idea of what to expect with the build of the WRX, let's hop into some of the parts that we have. Got to give a massive thank you to our boys, Tim Kamir at MA Performance. The boys really hooked us up and they were stoked on our idea, bringing back the WRX. They helped us out, sourced us a bunch of the parts that, that they currently make for the WRX. And we're going to be throwing on some of MAP's performance parts onto the WRX. I'm not going to open up all these boxes because I got to keep the surprise factor there for you guys whenever we actually do the build. But there are a couple of parts that I want to unbox for you guys and show what we're going to be doing because it's kind of like a drastic change. Okay, part number one. I'm just, we'll just do this one first. Yeah? yeah. What do you think? We'll do this guy and the biggest guy. How about yeah, that? the biggest okay. guy for sure. Number one, we have, this is something brand new and I wanted to tell you guys, we are the first, I think we're like one of three people in the entire world to be testing out this suspension. This is something new, may or may not be coming out. Um, it's something that we're gonna be testing, seeing how we like, seeing what improvements can be made. But this is Evolve Autosports. This is a brand new suspension company that like I said, we will be testing out and um, seeing if we actually like. Let's unbox it and see what it looks like. As you know, presentation means a lot. Now, Suspension isn't a isn't a cosmetic piece, but when unboxing something, at least for me, makes the experience nicer when they have a nice look. I don't know if that counts for anything, if you guys are like that too, but whatever. This is a drastic change. We are no longer part of the bag crew. We are going back to static. I, I just, when driving this car with the bags, I had so many little issues that weren't like major, but enough little issues to make me not enjoy driving the car. This thing sounded like a clown car when it would air out. It would just be so embarrassing. So I'm going away from bags again. All my other cars are static. This car is going to be static and we're going to be throwing on some brand new Evolved Autosport suspension. Like I said, we're testing it out. See the dampening, all the adjustability with this thing, and we're going to test her out. So big first mod for the car. No more bags. We got to rip all that crap out. I'm mainly looking for an everyday daily driver suspension and that's that's exactly what, what the Evolve Autosport suspension is going to be. Right here on the top that it even says designed for every day, which I think is pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be gearing the WRX towards. Next up and uh, for, the, for the next part that we're going to be unboxing, I'm sure you could, you could probably tell what this is, but okay. Whoa, that's Whoa. pretty nice. Whoa. Whoa. Where did it be? Is this, a, is this a single exit or is it a dual exit? I am not sure at this moment. I don't know either. Get on in here, let's check it out. Whoa. That's dual. Come out. We got the tips here. Whoa. Ooh. MAP, it's a nice glow here. Damn. These are all hand built. Yes. And MAP also does all hand welding, hand building, hand made everything for their exhaust, which is very nice. So these are, Those are sick. these are sick. These are very, very nice. It's gonna be a lot louder than what it is right now. We changed the exhaust a while ago from the Tomei and made it a lot more quiet. And this should actually liven it up a bit. As you guys know, you gotta, you gotta hear the car when you're driving it. So very excited for a brand new, very, very nice exhaust. All right, now that you guys have an idea of the WRX, we're gonna we're gonna keep a little bit of mystery to the rest of the stuff. Yeah, we, and we sealed everything back in its packaging. <laughs> and what we're gonna do, we we'll still have parts that are gonna be flowing in until we start the build. So when we do this thing, we'll be able to bang it out quick because we'll have everything, which is also the cool part about doing it months later. But get excited, the WRX build is coming. I thought while we're here, we don't really have too much left to do for today. I wanted to give you guys a quick shop update because Tim, while I was gone, did some shop mods. Tim, would you like to show everybody your shop mods? Shop mods, well needed shop mod. Yes, we actually have water at the shop now, which this is so cool because Tim, do you want to explain really in 10 seconds how you did this from the hill? I ran it down that hill <laughs> underground and then put the pipes right here. So now we have water. That's insane. That's crazy. <laughs> Little shop mod there. That's actually, so now we have water down here so we can actually wash our cars in the afternoon when it's nice and cool. And Wa yeah, wash our hands. That was a big thing. We would get disgusting and have nowhere to wash our hands. We have water now. But also the shop just 
looks beautiful. So I wanna give a big thank you to our friends over at Bulldog who are actually the designers and the people that helped us create this shop and then Central Valley Steel Structures who actually created all the steel and made this really, really cool building. Huge thank you to both of them because without those two companies, we would not have this place and we were able to fully customize it to our liking. If you guys are also interested in getting a building like this, whether it's smaller, bigger, whatever, check both of them out. I'm gonna put their info down in the description box below in case you guys want an awesome shop just like this one. Next up for our little shop update, I guess, we have a special package from Viper Chair. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the place. They make some really sick shop chairs and they actually custom made us one for the shop. So we're gonna be unboxing this and putting this thing together today. We have a super sick logo on this thing and it'll be really nice for when we're just chilling out in the shop and wanting to put it there. Let's check it out. Oh, that's sick. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Oh my God. This chair. Yeah, it's got some some great wheelie abilities. Look at this. So smooth on this nice floor. This is this this is Tim's chair. This is the Master Tech chair. The Master Tech. Oh, dude, this is can't stop this guy. This is a really nice chair. Thank you to Viper Chairs for sending us out. This thing is sick. And the embroidery on the leather, the cherry on top. That's gonna look perfect in the shop. Working on the Attack 32, the Attack EG. So cool. Really quickly, let's appreciate that. Amazing. Just picked up some dinner. Gonna end our night with a little bit of sush, but as soon as I come home, look what's at the front door, baby. Already getting to it here. This is a little surprise that I got for Tiana, but we'll see you later. But also, huge thank you to MAP. MAP literally got us some overnight parts from Japan. We got some new HKS mods for the Type R that we, that we will be doing when I'm back home from my trip, which we will talk about in just a second. Just thought I'd show this. Huge thank you to MAP. We talked to them yesterday about some things that we needed. They literally had all the HKS stuff that we needed in stock and sent it to us overnight. I'm freaking pumped right now. Look at this sick spread we got going on here. A good sushi spread. Anyways, we had a really awesome deadlift day today. 420 for three sets of three. That was pretty juicy, it was awesome. So I figured we were due for a nice high carb, high protein dinner. We're gonna be enjoying this with a little bit of TV. You know, I'm gonna give you a recommendation. House of Dragon, absolutely fantastic. Tiana and I actually watched that last night. We loved it. Neither one of us ever really watched Game of Thrones. I think we saw like one or two episodes of it. Didn't really have the time to get into it, but now I feel pretty awesome starting House of the Dragon from the beginning and not like back eight seasons. We're gonna be out of town for two more weeks, but we actually leave for Bali tomorrow for two weeks on our honeymoon, which I'm very excited for. Um, I just wanted to quickly extend a massive thank you to all of you guys watching the video right now. Uh, if you stayed this long, and chances are you are you are an OG Dutch Squad member, and I appreciate you guys staying till the end of the video. Of course, hashtag made it to the end. But I wanted to say thank you for all the support on the videos recently. You guys have been loving the Type R content, everything that we've been doing, and I just wanna say thank you guys so much. I worked so damn hard on putting out these videos and filming. Like guys, I do everything myself. I film myself, I edit myself. Everything goes on we do by ourselves. And I put my heart and soul into what we do. And I'm truly passionate about everything that we're doing. And I really hope it shows through the videos. Sometimes I kind of get in my own way thinking about like, am I really making the, making the right choices? Like, should I get this car or that car? Should I do this? And I always fall back on what I'm truly passionate about. So I'm not reaching for that next craziest car, that next craziest build. I, I do things because I'm truly 100% passionate and fully into it. And I'm hoping that through these videos, you guys get to see that. And I just really, really appreciate 
all the love and support recently on the videos. I always tell myself this and I wanna leave you guys with this too. Something that I really pride myself on and that I always try and push to anybody that asks me for advice. Now, of, of course, you know, you guys know, I have do more tattooed on my body and this is, a, this is a part of that. I really live my life by the term do more and pushing yourself to always do bigger and better things and take that leap, take that jump, even if you're scared, just like I did when I moved away from my entire family and friends from Mississippi all the way to California to pursue something that I had no freaking idea if it was gonna work out. But uh, something that I really pride myself on is people out there, creators out there, might always have more subscribers than me, might get better views than me, have better cars than me. But one thing is for sure, no one will outwork me. I will always be the hardest worker in the room and I wanna challenge you guys to do that as well. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and are excited for the WRX Bowl. We have so much insane crap that has popped up in the last few weeks that the content is only going to get crazier and crazier. So stay tuned. That's all I'm going to say. You'll see. Anyways, thank you guys. Don't forget, leave me a hashtag made it to the end. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Once again, thank you. Peace out.